Okay, we're uh, here. We are Thursday night. Podcast number. Who knows when? Well, who, who cares? Video cares? Uh, Tuesday night podcast. Jamie, Dan. It's been a few Rick. weeks. We've had all kinds of shit going on. Yeah, it's been busy. Um, Somebody actually summertime. asked online too. I know a couple of people <laughs> said, "Hey, where's podcast?" So that was why I threw together that mishmash of a podcast on my deck the other night. And people want to know where we all of us were. That, well, that's yeah. odd. Yeah. Um, we got. Uh, Got some news. Um, uh, first thing is uh, the tournament that is next Saturday here, all day tournament, um, seven on seven, uh, 12 teams, probably be all day, um, drinking food, a lot of fun. Uh, there are five spots left now, two spots were just taken today. So if you are interested, uh, either let Paul Sanchez know or let Jim Big Show Shot know. I screwed that up in my intro too, I said Big Shot. The show, whatever. Good yeah, right. So, um, we forgive you. Oh, thanks. Um, it was a good promo, though, wasn't it? I liked it. I was gonna do one tonight. I'm gonna do the road dog, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. You know that one? Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. So, uh, and uh, I talked to Patrick today. Patrick's, um, is he guy, he's he, I know everybody busts balls and busts chops. Oh, you're retired before because of your back. Um, he's he's very, um, Heartbroken about it, but he is really done. He said his, his mind and his body still want to do it, but his feet and his back won't let him. So he's, he did play uh, Tuesday. Um, he said the first shot he took, he went and saw it. He said his back killed him the rest of the game. So we're going to miss you, Patrick. I hope maybe something comes up that you're able to come back, but this is the second guy this season to a back injury. And then um, Dan has lost Dave Burwell. So we uh, – Cobra Kai curse. It's we, uh, Look. Yeah, it's a curse. We we lost our first round pick. Um, he might be here this week. We're not sure. I haven't heard from him. Who, Bill? <laughs> yeah. What, just text him? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, then we, by the stroke of luck, got Burwell, and then his wife got a job out of the blue. Yeah, a and, tutoring uh, job, right? Not a yeah. full-time thing, it's just a tutoring game. tutoring for the summer. Uh, he might make a couple more games, so. Well, if he can make a couple more games and make playoffs and leave his spot open. That's all that matters. Might as well. I don't think there's anybody on the whole list anyway. So, um, I, you I know, and technically, if Burnus is out for Preichel, you know, if Dave can't make it, it, it's only, you know, it makes things a little fair, I guess. Yeah. Well, um, with that, yeah, Burwell's out. Uh, welcome back to the league, Mark Mucci. Uh, he took Jake Miller's place on Nick Favada's team. He didn't even have any penalties the other night. No, he didn't. He played defense, too. He's he not didn't bad slash defense. anyone. He's, did you see the goalie score when he shot it and he dumped it in? And the goalie misplayed it and it went in his That was him. Uh, I, I Mucci will... fired it off the boards right there by the balloon. It bounced. The goal, it went, it was going like it was rolling yeah. wide. And the goalie put his pump yeah, down. You... I don't know how it went in. Hang on. You realize that him and I were both on the floor, right? We, oh, oh, you were. We were playing oh, defense. I, we, I, had a, I had a great view of that. Uh, did you? I, I was, like, was in the zone. Hey, he was he, back. He, he asked some, I... are you okay? By, by, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, nine. Yeah, he welcomed nine? me. You know what? It took him nine weeks. He got to the nine club. Well, he had a bunch of sixes upside yep. down. So, welcome to the nine club. Now, the only one left to join the nine club, Stu. which is amazing to me because if you look at the stats, the goalie stats, Stu is third, fourth in goals against, yet he hasn't let nine in. Yeah, but after that week, he threatened me. Yeah, but we, we haven't let nine in. Huh? We haven't let nine in. No, we haven't. You're right. Well, Bonus is also the number one goalie. So, yeah. when, well, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, Oh, uh, this week. Okay, so seeing how you fuckers don't want to do King of the Rink, because you're all a bunch of cheap motherfuckers, and I'm calling you all out. Um, you know, it, five bucks is nothing. Ten bucks, I mean, you know, you guys probably blow that in coffee during the week. Um, That's Starbucks, too, nonetheless. One cup at Starbucks. Uh, anyway, and this podcast is not sponsored by Starbucks, because Starbucks sucks. Um, we're going to do Follow the Queen this week, so it, Paul's going to put some cards on the board. Come in, you pay them, pick money, you put, give them the money, you pick your cards. If, when they pull the card, your card gets pulled, you win like 200 bucks or something, and the rest goes to the league. But it's a good deal. So, bring some money this week, you cheap fucks. Actually, Paul's eating some pizza right now. You shouldn't eat pizza before the game. I think I'm gonna oh, go. I hope it's not that freaking Little Caesars that was in the freezer. It looks like. No, oh. no nothing looks that bad. No. Did you see he's got three Little Caesars pizzas in there? For There's like a little Caesars. box. There's right. a little box up on the ledge. Looks like it's oh, yeah, right next, next door. Next door. Yeah. I might grab a slice. I mean, nobody in their right mind. I'm going to go to Imperial. Nobody in their right mind eats fucking Little Caesars. I'm going to go to Imperial after our game. It's pizza. 
Oh, our podcast brought to you by Imperial Pizza. How's that? Hey, it's copyright infringement, but you can do it. Anyway, um, uh, we got that. I think Jake's dog's peeing on the ground out there. Again? Well, it's it's wax. We've we've now we've now called this place Frank's Dog Shack. This is the dog pound for dog the dog dog pound. Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. No, I'm sorry. This is not. And if you ain't done with that, I got two words for you. Ready? Suck it. Frank's. What do we got? Frank's dog watching here. <laughs> Frank's. Bring no, dogs that's, down. That's, that's that's Jamie's wife's job. Jamie's the dog watcher. No. Shiv and she's and won't watch that one. Yeah. Oh, anyway, um, I think that's everything I got for the news. Follow the Queen Cobra. Oh, yeah. What is with the Cobra Cat curse, dude? You've got a good team. They had a good team last session on Thursdays. Ah, the Didn't team you... on Thursdays, though, a lot of bitching. Didn't you learn? We don't have any bitching. Well, there's, one, the there's one equation in that equation. One, yes. One, what's the, what's the, there's one integer in that equation that equals everybody's bitch problem. But, but I think, I the but their, their team before, though, had problems, too, when they were Cobra Cat. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it's a Cobra Cat curse. curse. Burwell, I mean, Dodson, I mean, I, I don't know. Way it goes. So, uh, getting into the results, uh, did not see this coming because in my uh, in my my um, my guesses for the week, my predictions, Jerry Hatricks, Nick said to me, "I told you so." When he was midway through the first period, beat you guys ten to one, and Jamie filled in. What happened? Is it really? Uh, I'm not going to blow anyone. I'm not going to Are you either. okay? I'm not throwing anyone under the... No. You know what? Keith played well all year. I know. He had a rough game. It was hot, too, the other It was day. hot in here. Um, I mean, the guys played great all season. I can't say. I mean, that one that bounced in, he just kind of smiled. <laughs> it was what it was. We all, you know, we played as good as we could. and You guys will figure, you guys will figure it out. You guys will figure it out. So He's anyway, the only guy I'm not worried about on the team. Yeah, well, um, uh, ten to one, uh, Jerry Hattricks. Um, my personal opinion was you fuckers tried running the score up. So. Oh, Nick was running until five seconds left in the that, game. That you were, he was hanging. Th- yeah. Did you see what Anthony Irwin was hanging further than him? And he almost had breakaway, but he got caught. Nice try. Um, and then uh, uh, his hard as work, Nick works. I don't care. He's a goal hanger. He does work hard, but he is a goal hanger. Um, and especially a 10-1 game, he was hanging with 20 seconds to go. <laughs> Ru- Rukoff, four goals, one assist. Favada with two goals and two assists. And Hugh Singer, goal and three assists. The three of them are in the top five in scoring, I think. We'll get to that later. And then Dan Martin had the one goal for you guys to break yep. the shutout. So I was going to give uh, I was going to give Siegel um, one of the stars tonight. I thought Siegel played okay. I didn't think you guys had a lot of pressure on him. We didn't have a lot. Of, most of the shots came from Bumps. Yeah, I think most of the shots seat. came from us. It was, it was, it was perfect shooting. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, Tom played good, and Tom's gotten really – he's gotten better and better. His team's team. really carrying him, though. But, um, he, he, yeah, but he's played well. He's played well for us. He filled in. So, I'm gonna. I'm not going to take anything away from Mr. Siegel. He's played well. So, he really wants that all-star nod, I think. I think it's got a lot to do with it. i got to say, between him, Zelensky, our goalie, and Bonas. They all had shaky first and second weeks, except for my goal has been pretty much the same every week. They've yep. all back, bounced back well. Yeah, Tom hasn't given up nine. Nine? Nine? No. Nine? No. Okay. Uh, and then I think I said Martin had the one goal. And then uh, game two, which was a really a competi- competitive game, close game, T-Baggers had the lead for a little while there. They were up 3-2, and then they had a little bit of a breakdown. Um, I did leave early. I think I left like the middle of the third. Yeah. I, T-Baggers was up, I think. Kramer, yeah, you left at the 3-2. Kramer won 4-3. A um, couple a, tur- a bad turnover was one goal, I think. Um, guy went to clear it. It was uh, knocked down at the point by Puffer, and he fed Bertolino, and Bertolino scored. And then I can't remember who scored the game winner. No turnover was, wasn't as bad as yours, the Bertolino last session. No, Bertolino scored wasn't. the game winner. They left him in the high Bertie slot. scored. Yeah, but somebody himself. scored. Somebody scored before that off a turnover, and I can't remember. I think it was Puffer that scored before that. But anyway, um, Puffer had a goal and two assists, and Pete Armini, who was all over the place the other night, Pete. I don't know if you guys know this, but Pete started our last session we had at Mineral on Tuesdays. And at the time when Pete started, Pete weighed 234 pounds. Because as a lot of you know and some of you don't know, Pete shattered his wrist pretty much 18 years ago in an accident at work and was told he probably would never play hockey again. And I'll tell you what, the dude doesn't, didn't belong to last past the third round. Not only did he weigh 234 pounds back in October, 
but now he weighs 180 something. Yeah, Pete's a good so, player. Good right? for you, Pete. Fuck, I haven't weighed 180 pounds since I was in third grade. Yep. Pete's a good player and he's a good guy. Yep. He's a smart player. He's getting his right. le- he's got his legs back. He's um, a good dude. And uh, Which good is more game. Important. He almost carried them to the win. I, I said, remember when they were? I go, Pete's gonna carry him to the win. And I turn around, talk to you guys, and he scored a sweet ass goal. So it's like that Heineken commercial. Yep. What? <laughs> so um, good game. And then uh, game three. There's a shocker. American Dream only have four of their own players show up. So we gave them guys to play. And uh, Pat Burnus showed up un- un- unannounced. Nobody knew he was coming. And again, he said it was his last game. Uh, and American Dream beats KS 5-2. to two. Uh, Sardo with two goals. And Russo with a goal and an assist for in a losing effort. Any comments? No? Damien, you got nothing to say? I didn't see it. Dan no. didn't see it. Oh, I'm I, didn't not, think, I didn't think we ran. So. I'm not publicly. All right, well, I, I just, we didn't play smart. We didn't play our game. For the first time, like this season, I, I think that we did not play a smart game. And like our, there was things that should have been done that weren't done. And that was our worst game since the game, um, the 10 7 game. Year, yeah, defensively, yeah. We, were, we were just yeah, we weren't we, we didn't play. It's different game. when it's yeah. 10 7 and you're scoring. It's different when you play bad defense and you don't score. Yeah, yeah. well, we I, and I'll tell you what, Brody Cummins filled in for fucking American Dream and Brody played lights out. He made a couple fucking saves that he shouldn't have made. And good for you, Brody. So uh, five two American Dream, Sardo two goals. He's a pain in the ass. Peters is a pain in the ass. Both those dudes didn't stop running the other night. I don't well, know how they did so much. Fuck. And. Uh, I was tired watching him. You know, I was kind of surprised Peter gets on himself sometimes and he, he wants to quit. Or he's a good, he's a pretty a, good he's player. A player. He's, I told him I talked to him a couple weeks ago when I saw his post about wanting to quit, and I said, "Dude, you got to give it at least half a session to get used to playing here." And I think he's starting to get it. We so. seriously would have picked him. Nobody knew who he was. Yeah, I didn't know. Curtis knew who he was. That was it. Yeah, I didn't know who he was either. But he's a good player. He, he's he knows how to play. So, and I told him it's going to take half a session to get used to it. it took you guys time. I mean, it's a different, it's different hockey. You guys played at Cruisers, though, so it's kind of Yeah, I didn't have much of a problem when I came on Thursdays. It wasn't that big of an adjustment for me. For you, no. It's just a little smaller. All the rules are the same. Yeah, but for me playing on a big surface at Mineral and then coming here and never, you know, not playing here in like 20 years, it was a big The only difference I can see so far, besides it being smaller, is we play the same, except the winding here is twice as much. Everyone at Cruisers expects it. But, I mean, that's just how everyone plays. Here... And the, the corners get me still. Still yeah. the corners yeah. get me Here, everyone's a general after the war. I mean, they, they're not saying shit when you're up. They're saying shit after the game. And this and that. Yeah. I, it's fucking unbelievable. There's All so right. many cheap shots. Well, you know, this this week... The hot pitch, shots, it's not even The funny. pitching at the refs wasn't that bad. The refs actually weren't bad this week, I didn't think. I mean... I, I'm, I'm not, not saying. I'm not I, I kind of disagree. Um, there were a couple... There were, there a couple were calls I just, questionable. I, I just would like to say, and I said this during the game... Just let the game come to you. Yep. If there's no reason to make a call, don't do it just because you think you need to make a call. Right. Like, there was two penalties in our game. I, I know. Waz is in, in your brothers. They were both bad calls. And there was no reason. If it, I, I'm not going to say. It, just, it was like the call on Sam last week when Sam has the ball controlled on his stick. He goes to pinch the guy off, and because the guy sticks his head in there, he gets a penalty for yeah. Hellboy. Let's not. Let let the, don't let me revisit the game before I tell you what happened. Yeah, I'm, let the I'm, game come to you. Right? Yep. I mean, it just, if it's, if both teams are battling and that's the way the game's going, you'll know when there's a penalty. It'll stick right the fuck out. Yeah. If it's not, don't let the game come to you. The don't, over, the don't over put the yourself top, into you know the what? game. I'm, I'm going to discuss it now because the over the top on Waz, that play happens 20 times a game and it happened right, in, oh, I'm going to call it now. Well, the play with Frank, Frank out muscles the guy in the corner, takes the ball from him and shoulders him and gets a penalty. I do that all day long. There's, uh, there's, I can assure you, people try to do it to me all game long. Some of them do. It was very. Uh, and what, what happened to your game? <laughs> was it a penalty? The week before. <laughs> a week before. Um, I forgot who. Somebody was chasing Bavolsic behind the net. Bavolsic stops the ball. The guy comes oh, in to the push him. Oh, the terrible interference call. Push yes, him, goes yes. to push him into the board, but Bavolsic's coming off and hits him in the nose. Right, right, in the elbowing call. Yeah, yeah. My issue was you told my team four times there's no penalty on the play. Yep. He comes over and talks to Matt and has Matt go ask Frank, who's in the back room. But they failed to tell Frank he had told us four times there was no penalty on the play. 
If they would have told me nothing and said, listen, I got to go talk about this, it, I would have been fine with it. Like, I, I got a bone to pick, too. I'm sorry. Go, now that we started. Go. This is the time. Go. You cannot leave the fucking rink and go ask a guy who's sitting in the back. And this is the second time this has happened. Yep. Yep. Last session on Tuesday we played, there was a high stick. It was a goal. It wasn't a goal. These dudes called it no goal, which was correct, because it was it was actually my stick that was high, or it was their stick that I was high. They thought it was my stick was high. Point. So during a timeout, they discussed it, discussed it, discussed it. They both leave the rink, go in the back. They went to they went to Lackawanna for the thing. Do something. Come out ten minutes later and then reverse their call. Yep. So mind you, by the way, so this is fifteen minutes, and I'm not being dramatic here. It was fifteen minutes. It was a, it was a wait. It made it a two goal game. It, it, it with, turned the game. With no, it was actually a pointless. It was pointless. Because it made it a two goal game with 12 seconds. That's left. right, you're right. So there was literally no reason to hold us here for 15 minutes. There was no reason to leave the rink. If you really thought that hard about it, you should have just called it either way. But you made the right call here's, in the first place. Here's, 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 here's what I'm going to tell you when you're a ref and you make a call, stick to your call. Okay. Because once you change your mind and go and ask somebody else, you've just lost all credibility. Right? Yeah, and he comes over it, to me and he wants to clean the slate it, this week. In Niagara yeah. Falls, where we both play in ref, if the owner's name is Larry and he plays hockey and he's very smart, if we were to leave the rink and go ask him the exact same thing, we would right never ref again. Never yep. ref he again. would never if have I us did ref that, again. If I did that at Mineral Springs with Randy and Eric, I, yep. did, yeah. I used to get told, make your call, stick to your call. And if you're questioning after the fact, say, hey, maybe I made a bad call, but you know what? That's I made it. the call. I got to stick to it. The worst part was he sent Matt back there who didn't see the play, and he stood out here. Yeah. And it's getting worse every week where sooner or later somebody's just going to get hurt. I just I just want him to just let the calls come to him. Yep. yep. That was a pretty clean game. There was nothing really going on there. Both teams were doing the exact same thing. And he's just making calls to make calls. I just I don't get it. Just let yep. it come to you, man. Sit there and, and just collect your check. Do it. Just do it. We made it easy for you. You have, if you're a ref, you have to set the tone. If somebody guy gets ran in the first minute, you either call the penalty or you don't. Yep. If you don't call the penalty, then don't call you don't call it later, later in the game. Yeah. Or you call them both. Yep. Okay, and you make it even. Yep. Even even Kasachi said this, and he's good at it. You know, in a game like that, when things are even, the calls that you should call will will become evident. Yep. They'll stick out like sore thumbs. They're easy to call. Yep. And that's. What I mean by let it come to you. Right. If it's not there, I, I, don't I, I invent know, it. I know exactly what you mean. And, and, uh, anyway, um, rant over, I guess, yes? Yeah. Three stars. Who's your three stars from Tuesday? My three is the goalie that we played against because yep. he, in the third period, we turned it on. At the end of the second, he made some, some huge saves. Well, that was a love save he made for me on the point. Well, he, he got the knob of his stick on a shot that I took yep. that was labeled yep. for the top yep. corner. Um, and... When I made a move on maybe Sardo or someone, I came down low and I had Doc on the far post, wide open, and made the pass through two people from this board to the post. Right, and Doc, and he, 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 no, he dove out with his poke oh, checked in. It? Yeah, if he doesn't do that, it's tap and goal. So, yeah. good on him. Uh, second star, I, I like Pete's game. Um, and uh, for me, the first star is Ferdolino. It's a game-winning goal. Um, Say it was a 10 1 game, I didn't give any of those guys stars. Dan's team was short, had six guys, and I'll be quite honest with we you. We just don't want to give the Jerry Hedrick slow. No, I, no, I don't. I, I like those guys. I, I like Brukoff, I like I like Hussinger, I like Lovato. But they should tell you if you ask them off camera, on the side, offline, off the record, man, they could have scored from the parking lot that game. I'll be honest with you. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm just not giving. You got credit. You, you know your, your stats are what they are, but tell me how many of those you guys actually earned. I'm, I'm okay. sorry, I was I in the it. game. So, so your one was your one was Brody. Bro- your two was Pete. Your three was Verdi. Reverse. Oh, okay. Brody, right. Pete, Verdi. Okay. What do you got? So I'm gonna go third one. Your goalie, you guys played because it sounds like he played well. Oh my God. I didn't see that. Yeah, he was but good. He was good. You guys are talking that well, and obviously he played well. Second star. I'm actually going to go Armini. Or no, second star, I'm actually going to say, I'm going with Buckley. Because I watched him most of that game. That dude was everywhere. Not saying Verdi wasn't, but Puffer definitely compliments Verdi out there. Oh, yeah. And Puffer was everywhere he had it's to be. It's a good pair. Buffer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the first star, I'm actually going to give it to Armini. Okay. He's been playing, he's been playing good. Well, I had, uh, I had it three, I had Pete at three. 
Um, two goals in a losing effort. Yes, it was two goals, and he was all over the place. My, my two is Brody. Brody just played lights out. And um, the guy that brings it every week and seems to never get any recognition, get the star, he's getting it this week because he had four goals and one woke off. Because, I mean, he's just, fuck, the guy runs his balls off no doubt. all the time. No, all those guys run. And, and they I know all it was 10 well. like you said. I'm did. just saying, I, I was there. I saw it. It was a... Okay. Well, you were, you were playing. I don't know. I, I'm going by stats, so I'm sorry. That's... If a guy scores four goals, he deserves to get a start. No problem, Mike and Jim. That's or Scott. Mike no problem. Scott. I, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you. I just yeah. was in the game, so okay. I was a little bit more intimately attached. They're playing right now, and they're tied 2 2. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, yes. 3 2. Three, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 3 2. So, uh, so what do you thought score? Or there goes, uh, there goes our ref, Kasachi, running down the board. Yep. He's got his top is. siders on. He's not following Pulowski, though. No. And then. Uh, uh, my hustle player of the week was he was everywhere in that game and he he was battling hard with Bertolino was Mike Reagan with a goal yep. and assist. Mike was Mike man He stood out. He yeah, stood out he that did. game. He did. Every time there was a ball loose in his zone, it seemed like he ended up getting it, clearing it out. I mean Either was, him or Marx had yep. control yep. both pretty much all game. And that's what helped them a lot to, to, to stay in that game and of course, you know and they didn't even have Florette. They had uh Siegel fill in. So I mean Siegel played well too. Siegel played well in that game he too. Played a good game for them. So, um, but Reagan doesn't have Mark's hair. No, that's fucking no, he doesn't. Selfishly, I'm gonna pick Frank. Uh, my brother Frank is the hustle player. Um, in my mind, he, he played center, which he's not. He still ran all the way in and four checked, ran all the way back and back checked. He didn't bitch and complain like I did. Um, he just went did the best he can do. He, he played well, and when he was four checking, he's just a beast, right? Yep. So that penalty was more shit. Um, I'll just that. say it. It, it was, was horseshit. It was. Listen, I've been hit harder than that. It was. Hor- it was. It's, you get. He gets the ball like this. Goes like that. The muscle of the guy off, and he, he, he said he went like that. He never yeah. went like that. Yeah. I know who called him. So I. I so I, I mean, it's terrible. just. It is what it is. But you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just the fact that, that he's he made it all. He kept coming up. He kept going back. He, he tried yeah. his best. He's he, my also player. He didn't have his deck shoes on the other night. Um, okay, so uh, then I'm, I'm going to jump right into the power rankings. Um, I've got mine at six. I got you guys. I got Cooper Tech. After giving up, can't Zach. argue with that. Yep. 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 Um, five. I, I don't care if they beat us. They're still staying at five because they had Usinger play. They had Mertz. Yeah, Mertz. That yeah. makes sense. So I'm going. Eight, American Reese stays at five until they got their whole team here and they show me what they can do. Same. Agree. Good with that. Four. I'm going tea baggers. Yep. Because they're not going to unseat any. They lost to Kramer, so I mean Kramer's going to be a three because they're still equal with Jerry Hattrick's record-wise. Uh, and again, Jerry Hattrick beat Kramer earlier in the year, so I got Kramer at three. I'm Jerry Hattrick's at two, and we stay at one. We had a bad week, I mean, but I still think we're the best team. So I'm unfortunately going to switch three and two on you. Yeah. I'm going Jerry Hattrick's three, Kramer two. Okay. I'm actually going to go. The same as you, except switch one and two. Because, look, when our whole team is here and we're playing the right way, we're good, right? But, and this is a big but, if we don't, and there's a high possibility we're not going to, we're, we're not that good. And if, if we're playing out of position and we're not all in it to win it, okay. then I, we're not the best team. All right. So. Well, I got us at one still, so yep. until one of those two teams beats us, we're one. So I get it. I get it. American Dream it was a hiccup this week. I think I, I'm telling you, I think that we, I think that our team. We now I'm have a hippie here, and I just seen an illegal walk through the door. So who, Angel? Yep. On hell. There he is. I got to see Angel. I need some rims for my. Uh, He's got a bag with him. I wonder who's that is. He brought, he brought white with him, too. I did, you think he's got some rims in that garage? I told those guys to bring white because we're, I, I'm not playing against a dark team again tonight like we did against fucking Warriors and can't tell who's on what side. So, uh, the scoring leaders, uh, we got the top ten. These guys automatically, as I, as you know, make it to the All-Star game. That's right. Um, that's 5-0-1, I know. Yeah. Because he didn't, they, they marked the guy that played the, I know. Yeah. I, I was going to catch it when I got there. Uh, Fada, 38 points, 20-18. Verdi at 30 with 17 and 13. Rukoff, 28 with 13 and 15. Usinger, 23, 14 and 9. The top five are Jerry Hattrickson, Kramer, 
Uh, 14 and 6 puffer, top six actually. Wilson, 9 and 10 for 19. And then there's two guys with 15 points, and I noticed after the fact, actually, Pete should be ahead of your brother. They both have 10 and 5 for 15. Pete in eight games, Frank in nine games. And then Provorce and Russo each with 14. Uh, Provorce with 10 and 4. Russo with 5 and 9. Hey guys. So uh, that's, you know, those are the top 10 right now. Those guys will automatically make the uh, All Star game. And then um, for the goalies, uh, it's going to be. Bonus is 5 one one with a 3.61 goals against, which is pretty damn good. Uh, Siegel's uh, second at 7 2 0 with a 3.77. Let me ask you this. What? Did you take that off of that seven games? That looks a little high to me. He had one, he had one bad game. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I went off with the. I went off with. And then uh, Florent, 3 4 and 1 with 4.86. Yeah. So, so that's where they stand right now. <laughs> Bonus is still, I mean, he's ahead of. Yeah. You know, uh, injury report. Um, now, I don't Jay Hurley's here tonight, so I guess he's not injured, so he's going to go off the list. What's up with the bull check? He had to work. Okay, okay. Macker, he was here the week before. Macker hasn't been here the last three weeks. I don't know what happened. If his, if his head maybe, did something happen to him, or is he just, does anybody know? Have I heard anything? No? Okay. Jake Miller, as we know, is done for the, the probably the rest of the session with his foot. Uh, Bonus, Brian, we don't know, maybe two more weeks, three weeks. Yeah, but with him, we got to make a call. If he's coming back. We, if if he's coming back. Well, then we'll he's make He's got to make a call by week 10, right? We'll it's make, next week. We'll make a call. Oh, I don't think it's by week 10. You can't pick up anyone after week 10. You, if they're... Who said that? You can't... That's the rule. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. You can't. If yeah, someone drops, you can still pick somebody up. No, because no, last week, it is, week 10, it is yeah. week 10. I don't know if goalies were on the list. I don't know about that. I'll have to check with Jim and them. It's no, it is. It's the way. same as it's the right, same I'll, as Thursday. I'll, they I'll, said I'll no check. matter what, because we had someone get hurt. What? We had someone get hurt on uh, on Thursday, and they said, I remember Simonson telling me, week after week 10, you can pick nobody right, we'll else up. We'll have to check into that. Jim, let us know. Jim shot. you got homework to do. Um, and then Jay Adam with his, he had a gout flare up, so he was he was out too. A lot of guys get gout flare ups this time of year. You know, this is all that beer. It's thirty five and over too. Though. It's all that beer too. Though. Yeah. I drink beer. Um, I only the only so, ankle I have is the Dan Reed ankle. So that that yeah. leads that leads me into. But that uh, taught you a lesson about chasing. I mean, we had a man. My ankle was still fat and swollen like a fucking pregnant. That beer. leads me into. I know that just lost Burnus, but I mean American Dream's a pretty good team. What the fuck's going on with that team? I mean, other than they're winning this week, but they had. You know, parts and, and guys filled in. I don't know, but I mean, might have to have some guest appearances. We got a know. decent team. We went. We, we'd like to have you guys maybe guest appear one of these weeks and tell us what the fuck's going on. Maybe Brett Sardo, but you can't throw no water bottles or no sticks. But you can bring some donuts. Yep. Bring yeah, donuts. I mean, you did eat one of ours. Yeah, that thing was nasty too. So. Next week, Sardo, you're on the podcast. Sardo, you want to be on the podcast? Next bring week? some. Bring some donuts. We'll do it on Thursday. We'll let you know what time. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with them. And then uh, we got, uh, it's already week nine, guys. Yep. Next, I'm going to start. Thursday nine. Nine. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to start asking guys if they're playing the next session because the next session will start in September. Um, I looked at the schedule today. The schedule's up until through the end of the year. And yep. End of the session, anyway. So, uh, if you've got guys who want to play or you're going to play next session, start to let me know. I'll have the sign-up sheet out probably week 12. I'll put it out up there. Uh, so yeah, we're already getting to uh, getting through. We're more than halfway through the season. These things are flying by. Uh, and then going into that, we got uh, our captains for next session. So per the rule on Thursdays, um, you cannot be a captain after you've done it twice in a row. So right now, Favada, Goodrich, and Preichel and Puffer cannot captain next session. So uh, I know you're going to do it again. I'm 50-50. Okay. Uh, I think Shop will do it again. And then um, I think I'm going to jump back in and do it. Um, I think Ben McDaniel said he wants to do it. So we are not ranking the captains on Tuesdays. We're not doing it. If you want to be a captain, you're taking the chance of you know losing a pick. You know, I mean, if you're a, you know if you're a seven eighth round guy and you get the first pick and you don't pick for you know twelve picks, that's on you. I'm not. We're not ranking the captains. That's bullshit. You take the chance of being a captain. You can still build a pretty good team too. So. As long as you don't, I mean, look what Simonson's team he built on Thursday. Yeah. So, um, so if you want a captain, let me know, let Jim Shot know, um, and we'll put a list together and then we'll draw names if we get more than six. So, uh, but uh, Shot and, and Reed will automatically be because they were already in this session. And then uh, 
I told you guys the other day we got to do the midseason awards. Mm -hmm. So um, the scoring leader is, is Favada. That's what, what's that in the NHL? That's uh, Hart no, that Hart Trophies. That's the scoring leader. Doesn't matter. It's middle of the season. Is he at Ross? No, I think it is a, I think it is a Hart Trophy. Oh. Hart's MVP. Hart's MVP. They uh, got Ross in the scoring Hart Ross, and then the, the goal scoring, goal title is Rocket the, the Richard. Rock Richard. Yeah. Which Ovechkin seems to win all. Okay, so scoring leader right now for we're gonna call it the uh, the uh, um, call it the scoring scoring leader uh, for Bonnet, uh, twenty and eighteen for thirty eight points. Um, top goalie, Bonus. I mean, I'm gonna give it to all three of them. Uh, I'm gonna give Bonus, Zelensky, and uh, Siegel. Siegel and a four actually, and my goalie. Okay. Only because Zelensky and Berlinski I, came in. Didn't really know anyone. I'm not sure if we can name a top goalie and then name all the goalies in the league. No, yeah. you can't do that. One goalie to pick them. You gotta do whatever you <laughs> want. <laughs> I'm not picking one then. All right, fuck you. You're That's so fine. I'm How about picking. this? How about this? Name the bottom goalie. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of guy. All right, uh, we got the MVP. I don't have a clear cut favorite. My top three for the MVP are Florette, Bertolino, and your brother, Frank and Okay. Those are my three. For, I mean, your brother brings it. When he brings it, he's unstoppable. So, um, I got, yeah, Florette, and I mean, if, if T-Baggers don't have Florette and they got another goalie, I'm sorry, they're not, their record isn't what it is. And then, of course, Bertolino is, I mean, he just makes his team that good. You take him off of that team, I mean, that team's still good, but it's not, it's not yeah, I can I can say, if I had to say MVP, I still, I, I, I can agree with your list, maybe add, see, you can't say MVP for, for like, Nevada, Husing, or Rukov. Because there's three of them and they're yeah. all fantastic. Yeah. Make, like, who do you I mean, pick? Yeah. You, you don't, yeah. The fact they all play together makes it hard. How's too. this? I can pick Fabada as MVP because he drafted all those guys. Right, right. right? Well, and that could be GM of the year. Yeah, so. sure. Then that, that's the right. award you get. Well, how do you get GM? Um, make you feel better. I got the, the Charlie Hustle Award. We're going to call it the Pete Rose Award. That, that goes to Don Rukov as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I, mean, I play with him on Thursdays. He's. He's a pretty reliable. I mean, I mean hustler. your brother and, and Waz are in there too, but I mean. Daddy. No, I can agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would definitely say Rukov and Frank would definitely tie for that. Okay. You could have a close tie. Those two are relentless. Um, I mean. The pedo award, pain in the ass. My pain in the ass this session is Brett Sardo. Yep. Yeah, he ain't already throw a water bottle this shit session. No, he hasn't done that yet, but he's a pain in the fucking dick. What do you think? Waz could be in there, too. Bernalino's a pain in the ass. Yeah, Bernie is. But Waz is a pain in the ass because I watched him one game just run up to the goalie, stop, just stand there for a minute, yeah. irritate everyone. Fucking, what do you call it? Re, or uh, fucking uh, that douchebag Peters fucking stuck a stick in my ass the other day. Yeah. Bruce my pain. Dude, yeah. the stick half disappeared. Yeah. And don't forget, I'm saying that in a season where I've been literally punched in the face and had a stick swung in my head. Yeah. Bernalino's my pain in the ass. All right. Um, I got uh, top scoring defenseman. Is this guy here again? So There's far. no way I'm. Yeah, you're the top scoring defenseman right now. Um, Nobody picked me. I'm fucking but, terrible. But my, back, my best D-man, my best D-man, <laughs> D-man. Okay, you're scoring defenseman. My best D-man is Jamie. Uh, I give it to Jamie. Come here, you. And you also get the Goon Award, too, yeah. your 25 penalty minutes. Is that That's because I got... No, because I got... I got. I did remember I, when I looked in the morning and I saw you had like a 10 I'm like... He's bad. I got, got 16 in one game. I don't care how you got it. You got 25, you're yeah. the goon. And people complain about how you play, so you yeah, got I know. the goon award. I know. Mooch this, might take it from the, you before the, the end the of the same, year. The same people who the, swing their sticks at my face hey, sw and sucker slightly punch behind me. You, slightly behind you is I take a penalty at the worst time in the game, Mr. Sam Badalana. So yeah, no, the goon means he something best, else. He had the best line last game when we were playing on Thursday. Ooh, he yeah. tripped, I think, Phil Serafini. He's like, he's so much faster. But he's so fast, though. I'm like, yeah, that's, that oh, makes sense, shit. I guess. Um, oh, shit, I got to get dressed. <laughs> yeah, we got to yeah. get going. Uh, yeah, like, and then, like, uh, okay. I, I just. Two-way forward, I got uh, Jay Husinger Castle between the two yeah. of them. And then Jay, I mean, Castle's awesome. Um, oh. Best hands are between Husinger and Armini, I think. Yeah, I um, I think, personally, my best hands is Mike Reagan. Mike Reagan has good hands. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sean Martz, Reagan. I don't know. You got a couple guys. Yeah, my hands yeah. guy is Reagan. Or wow, this Mike is the longest podcast in a while. Yeah. Well, we had that rant too. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's what I got for any other award. GM, general general manager, Favada. Favada. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. Cause Favada knows if I didn't take Dodson, Rukov was my pick. Yeah. That would have put a slow down. 
I really think you get the difference between that, that, the black and the... Shut up. Anyway, um, all right, well, look, we got to go. So we we got to go. Ready. We got to play hockey. See you next Tuesday. Rick will turn it over to me. Later. Yep.